Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Joshua Matthew. If you are old here, thanks. And if you are new here, please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get notified anytime I upload a new video. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to design a church flyer using Adobe Photoshop. So if you are a beginner, then key into this tutorial. So let's get started. Then click on your grid, then and select 1080 by 1080 pixels and your resolution 300 then you great so this is our canva where we are going to work now copy your color code ctrl plus c to copy then go to your fill color and select solid color ctrl plus v to paste and this is the color code you can copy it now we are going to import the resource file so this is the image i'm going to use then reduce the size and drag it up okay scale it right so then having achieving this one then we are going to our blending mode and select the luminosity apply your layer mask select your gradient tool and you blend here and over here all right then go to your resource file again and we are going to import this background image then you scale it out then apply your layer mask select your gradient tool or you press g on your keyboard then now we are going to apply blur select your blur gaussian blur and take note of this code number 9.2 then import this background this one drag it down apply your layer mask then select your gradient tool or you press G and blend it over like this scale it a little all right then now we are going to import this church background image so you leave it like this then why we are going to import this one then you reduce the size click ok then we are going to change it to overlay then apply your layer mask select your grid tool and blend it and the top here all right so now i'm going to back to this image then change it to lightning that's the bloody mode then go back to this background and we are going to reduce the size or you drag it down reduce it and drag it down this way is okay then go to your mask and select it select your gradient tool and blend the top here because i want this background area to appear all right so having done this one now then i'm going to adjust this one by increasing the size all right it's okay like this increase this one okay so the next i'm going to draw a rent angle at this position Then go back to your resource file and import this image. Reduce the size and position it somewhere around here. Then change it to overlay, uh, I mean soft light. Then reduce the opacity to 65%. Apply your layer mask, select your gradient to blend the top here and the side here. So this is our church logo. 
So we are going to rasterize it. Select your magic tool. Then click here, delete. Ctrl plus D to deselect. Now we are going to drag the image, I mean the logo up and reduce the size. Then this we are going to copy the text. Ctrl plus V to paste. Then we are going to change the font to Avenir. Then change the font color to black. So now having pasted it, then remove the character spacing by 0% and then close the space. Now reduce the font size. Then apply center alignment. Make it bold. Then duplicate it or use Ctrl plus J. Then Ctrl plus C to copy. I omit one letter there. Alright, so having make it bold, then I'm going to and um, make that make the correction, select the test, then make it bold. Now I'm going to select it and make the correction. Then I'm going to add letter P. Then apply vertical alignment to centralize it. Then now we are going to import this image. Then you drag it down. Increase the size. It's okay. Then select your rent angle tool and we are going to draw a rent angle over here. Now change the font, I mean the color to red. Apply your layer mask and you blend here. Then select your test and copy it. Ctrl plus C to copy. You can right click and also copy it. Then close the character spacing by 0%. Change the font to white. And I'm going to use Gothic, that is essentially Gothic font. Reduce the font size. And drag it over here. Then draw another short rectangle. Then we are going to change the color to white. And uh, over here we are going to turn off this link and apply a shape to it. Then you bring it down. Now reduce it. Then come over here to copy your test. Then change the color to black. All right. So the next now 
we are going to copy the topic Control plus V to paste and over here is the font I'm going to use adverts Kante something like that so then this is the fonts Avant Gate. So sorry if I pronounce it wrong. Then I'm going to list the font name in the descriptions so that you will get it and use it for further or for future design. So this one now I want to change the words to small letter. Then remove the character spacing by 0% then and change the font color to red and I'm going to use the font script now yeah now scale it out so that is it for this one now we are going to proceed by drawing another rent angle over here increase the size all right let it be here for now so now I'm going to apply a shape, lock the link and then apply the shape so that the shape will affect all it around. That's the reason of locking it. Okay, somehow I'm a little bit fast. Okay, so we are done on this one. Sorry if I'm if I'm bit fast here. You know there are some things that you don't need to waste much time on it. So you have to be more faster on that. All right, so I've agreed this one now. So what I will do on this, I'm going to rasterize this one. Then select your market tool, and uh, I'm going to draw from here. Then come down here right click to make a copy of it so this one now i'm going to change the color then double click here to open your layer style and select solid color now change the color to black so you can see over here now i have two color black and white so if you don't want to go through this one then just press ctrl plus i to invert the color from white to black automatically without using layer style so like this you can also use the R system press ctrl plus i to invert the color from black to white without using either ctrl plus u or you go to image and adjustments hue and saturations so there are shortcuts that you will use that things will be more faster for you either you use ctrl plus u for hue and saturation or you use ctrl i to invert the color Then I'm going to use superscript on this. Then increase the size. 
so there is gap in the character there so i'm going to close it by 100 percent so a little bit closer now now copy this one ctrl plus c to copy or you right click and you copy it Then I'm going to remove that character spacing by 0%. Now I raise it back to align it together. So this is time, then copy this one, Ctrl plus J to duplicate it, Ctrl A to alight, then increase the size, Ctrl plus C to copy. Ctrl plus V to paste, drag it and position it over here. Okay, so then I'm going to arrange it and increase the size, reduce this one. And the other one I'm going to do now is to import the icon for location. Position it. Let it be aligned with the rent angle. Now Ctrl plus V to paste. Then use left alignment. Change the color to black. And reduce the font size. Remove the character spacing, make it bold. So, the last one, copy this one, Ctrl plus C. Then select your test tool, then click outside here. Then we are going to change the font color to black. Also change the font. So either you use Gothic Century or Avenir. So anyone you can use on that. Now I'm going to reduce the size. Then I'm going to take this one up. Reduce the size. Alright, so this one will be around here. Change it to screen. Take this one up, then reduce the character spacing, then 
so i'm going to adjust the date and the time select it once again use your arrow key then to arrange it properly so that is all about this tutorial thank you so much for watching remember to subscribe like and share to your friends so let them also watch so if you need any of my flyer then check the link in the description and make your order through my fiber account thank you so much